And here you can see a second pair. It has only one ladder bay where they're putting that ladder in. It's a little difficult on this particular tree. Um, but you can see, standing back the way that we are, you can see the structure of the tree, similar to before, but with a lot more shoots. This one's going to take twice as long. Um, all right, let's get started. It was about half the size when we built the deck, and uh, we wanted to leave that tree. But it it needs a lot of work, and uh, there might be a couple of a couple of larger branches that need to come down. Um, what do you think? Good, good look at it. Congested up here in the top. I'm thinking maybe take this off here. Okay. And probably probably here. I'll get that one. Yeah. Be able to see what we're talking about. Here. Yeah. Well, this tree likes it here, huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> it makes some beautiful pears. Great big Bartlett's. Oh, wow. So, you can take this one off back here. You can. Is that what you said? Uh, you should take this one off here and. Actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I agree. Take that one off. And this tree just needs to be brought down. Um, considerably, you know, I would cut there and leave this. Like, so you want to leave the little dog leg on there? Too. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's the one we were gonna. This is the one we're gonna take all the way back to here. This oh, one. but you're you're talking about the height in this range. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna pull. I'm gonna say it's like four inches out at this distance from the. From the trunk, and over here, as we get another couple feet in, you're going to be more like six, or maybe maybe down to here even. Yeah, I agree. And then start evening out, getting this down a little bit lower. Yes. Start pulling these. Take it down. Right. Mm-hmm. And so by doing that, we're going to start at the top. We're going to take, I don't know, eight inches at the at the center of the tree, six inches out, six inches off, a couple feet out from that, four inches as you get out to here two inches as you get out to here, some, something like that, give or take. And, and it starts to bring these these larger branches down just a little bit. Yeah, which you can see which is just, what they need. Exactly, you can see just how busy this tree is. It's, yeah. There's so many shoots on it. Yeah. And if you start at the top like that, you cut a lot of those shoots off with one foul swoop of the saw, as opposed to, you know, because you'd be up here. You'd Otherwise, it'd be one yeah. little clip you're, at a time. You're cutting this one and 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 this yeah. one, where you cut it right there and you saw it and you're done. Yeah, exactly. And then this one here, you'd be yeah. cutting here and here and here and here, or you saw it right there and you're done, losing that four inches. But on this one, you kind of got to pick a space, so this might not lose the four inches because you got to keep something in this zone. That's right. Maybe this one. That's right. And so we, you know, maybe here and this thing probably all the way off. Yep. And now we've got one in the back back here. But yep. it's growing back into the center of the tree. And that's not what we want. No. So all the way up. Yep. And now we've left one little, oh, there's one over here. One in the back. Oh, tiny guy yeah, back okay, there. Yeah, okay, that's a good um, template. Exactly. For what you need to do with the rest of the tree. And, and if any of these bigger branches need to come off you know there's one two three four there uh if you want to take out that middle one or and you know you're meaning 
this yeah. one uh -huh. down into here. Mm -hmm. All the way down. Yeah, with your saw, I guess. Absolutely. It's way too big for any of our other tools. Yeah. How about this center branch here? Or maybe this one, because we're getting some... What do, you, what do you think? Those are both, this is a real big branch, heavy, healthy yeah, branch there. I mean, it goes up healthy. This one's super healthy. All that look nice skin on it. It's in, it's in yeah. good shape. Yeah. And if you open it up too much, it gets sunburned. Exactly. So I'd... So what do you think in there? We're already pulling I'd, one off here. Yeah. I'd, I'd leave both of those other ones. Leave those two. But trim them down from the top We're quite taking a bit. this one off. Yeah. Back to here. Yep. And then about as we go this way into this other area here. Anything seeing some pretty crowded in there. Maybe cutting it back into this range. Mm -hmm. Bringing this one down to maybe this branch. Yes. Maybe there like I, that. I like that. This one, this whole branch might come out and this one might stay even. Yeah. That, maybe to that's, here or so, or maybe leave this little guy. Yes. And then on this one, this branch here, we're going to do this, a little more cutting. Maybe, maybe back to here on this one and leave this little shoot. Yep. And maybe take this whole thing out all the way and leave some of this. You might head it back a little bit because it's starting to get... It, uh, in, encroach on this area over here. I think I'd cut it here. Yeah. And leave that. Leave? Oh, the little one in the back. Yeah. Okay. Something like that. Yeah. I mean, there, there's more than one right choice. Sure. It's got so many choices on this tree. So on this one, like I was saying, you could have cut over, cut it over here, but he's suggesting here. And that totally clears that space up over there. Yeah. And now these two are the big, healthy, dominant branches. But this little one in the back, it's kind of growing back. But next year, we'll wind up cutting it right about here and leaving this spur, and it'll start growing this way again. Sounds good. And so, that works. Just cut that without landing it on our heads. Yep. And so we're going to, basically this one, we're going to bring it back down a little bit more than, than, uh, the other one. Yep. So it'll be some larger cuts right off the top. Yep. And uh, that'll cut a lot of the work out of this because this is a this is beast. A, it's a beast of a tree to cut. <laughs> it always is. Yeah. So I'm gonna grab some other tools that are better for the larger cuts than this. This maxes out at about three quarters of an inch. Mm -hmm. And you can go a little better than that sometimes, but. That can be hard. It can be hard on the tool and hard on the tree, so it's better to use the right tool for the right size cut.
start bringing some of these taller branches down, cutting, making bigger cuts. You can see I already took one down there. And it's a pretty common thing to take the height of your ladder, whatever you have right there, and that is the height that you're going to aim for across the, the top of the, of the main branches. There's a couple of them in here. He's right over there, but this this is a main branch right here. Here's something I wanted to show you. This right here is a, is a disease damaged branch. And we're going to need to take it out, but it's a big one. So he had, a, he, had, he had asked us to take six inches or so or eight inches out here. This whole branch needs to come out. Go ahead. Luckily, he's right over there and says, yeah. go ahead. So this Do one's it. coming off. <coughs> we, we could go to here. But then later on, this big thing is going to sprout no, and I fill this whole area. Go all the way down. But what, yeah, what John's going to want, what I was about to say, is he's going to want us to take it all the way to here. Yep. And that will clean this whole area up yep. and allow you a standing platform right here. A, a leaning pl pl platform where maybe you've got your foot over in here somewhere and you, you can put a foot up on here to reach up in this area. Yeah, That's yeah. that scaffolding that I was talking about earlier. So this is going to require a saw cut, not the tool that I have in my hand. But you can see, like, on this one here, we're pulling them down quite a bit, maybe even into here. Because there's a nice branch here that could, that could maintain, and this is a nice branch that could maintain. A little flat, but we might tip it right there, and it'll regrow back again later. So maybe we'll go right here above it. And I can already tell my tool isn't going to fit over that branch so I'm not even gonna try it I'm just yeah. gonna let it I'm gonna wait for the saw Jeremy standing here with the saw We're waiting for me to get out of the way
Yeah. I like it. Right above Jeremy's head there. <laughs> you can try to get me, huh? Yeah. <laughs> this one? Uh, to the right. Yes, that area. A little less you try to think it. Whack it. There's two or three that are coming out towards you. Here or up here? Over there. Yes. Straight. Yeah. Yeah. Then out towards the stairs. Here. Up. To the right. Yes, that one. <laughs> this one? Yep. Ah, that's super. That's right. good. Got it. Because that opens up that area. Yeah, hello. Oh, yeah. yeah. Between me and the ladder, some of that can be worked a little more. Yeah, and then higher up on the tree. Yeah. Right there. Mm -hmm. And then up. Left a little bit. Yes, up in there. In here. No? Go up higher. Yeah. All right. Might be able to get it from the ladder. Right above where you just cut, there's one that, uh, just to your left. Yeah. Huh? In there. Go okay. ahead and you can cut that. All the way back. All the Cut that whole limb off. Oh, all the way back to here? Yeah.
Up at the very top. Yeah. All the way back? Yeah. And then there's one more. This one. No? Right up that way. Yeah, that way. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, now it's balanced. <laughs> we have balance. <laughs> All right, here we are. We finished this tree, this pear tree for John. What do you think? Beautiful. Yeah? It looks really good, really well balanced. And you brought it down and thinned it out. Good asked, job. I'd asked us to bring it down a few more inches of the of the thick stalks, which keeps that tree from getting really tall and out of control and like exactly. I said, fe feeding the birds. 